The advent of mass transportation unlocked the wilds of mountainous western North Carolina. With the crack of a whip, the coach would be off, bucking and swaying, toggling and pitching its way across a pockmarked and rocky trail, dashing and hurtling passengers into one another, many of whom were sore or even bruised at journey's end. Added to the bone-rattling voyage, passengers and coachmen shouldered delays, weather issues, great clouds of dust, and even overturns. Faintly, from a distance, a whistle, undulating, echoing mournfully. Drawing closer, the pitch of it swelled, resounding off hillsides, until all at once a resonance of pistons and huffing and panting, and the belching of smoke ushered in an iron horse, drawing a queue of pullmans. As the clacking slackened, and the beastly conveyance ground to a halt. There'd be cinders spewing all over the place, and the stench of smoke was stifling, salute a native Tommy Thompson recalled, and cinders in your eyes. Researching this subject harked me back to a boyhood fascination with all things mechanical. As I added the finishing touches to the manuscript, I took away a newfound appreciation and respect for the genius of invention and the vision and tenacity of our forebears who enhanced this wonderland we call Western North Carolina. <laughs>